All right, now we'll read Arthur's Christmas and let's see what kind of Christmas Arthur's going to have. Arthur and D.W. had been in the drugstore a long time. For heaven's sake, D.W. said, this store is full of presents. Pick one and let's go. It has to be just right, said Arthur. I want Santa to like it. Well, hurry up, said D.W. I want to get home and see if Grandma's there and how many presents she brought me. At home, D.W. added 10 more things she wanted to her Christmas list and copied it over in red pencil. Arthur and D.W. cheered when they heard the car in the driveway. Grandma, are there presents in there for me? asked D.W. Grandma, do you think Santa would like new mittens or gloves? asked Arthur. Whatever happened to hello? I'm glad to see you, asked Grandma Thora. After dinner, everyone relaxed. Look, said D.W., I teach the dog a new trick. Taught, said Grandma. You taught the dog a trick. But D.W. didn't hear. She had seen something on television to add to her list. Arthur, what's the matter? asked Grandma. I haven't found the right gift for Santa, said Arthur. Only two shopping days left, reminded D.W. The next day, Arthur, D.W., and their friends went shopping. The dog went too. Arthur searched the entire store and still couldn't find the perfect gift for Santa. What's the big problem? asked D.W. I can see a hundred things I want. Let's go tell Santa. Santa, what would you like for Christmas? asked Arthur. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. You just leave the giving to me. D.W. had her picture taken, patting Santa's tummy. Buster was next. Santa, be careful coming down the chimney at our house. My parents always forget to put out the fire. Ho, 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 said Santa. Don't worry, I'll use the front door. Then it was Francine's turn. Have you been a good little girl? asked Santa. Oh, yes, smiled Francine. I'm always good. Always? asked Santa. Afterward, Buster treated them all to ice cream. Arthur could hardly finish his root beer float. He had only one more shopping day. Look, said Francine, Santa eats ice cream. I'll have a banana split with six scoops of bubblegum ice cream, said Santa, with double hot fudge, whipped cream, and nuts. I'll say he eats ice cream, said D.W. At home, Arthur asked his family for help. How about a nice colorful tie? Said father. Aftershave is always a great gift, said mother. I'll bet Santa could use some toasty warm long johns, said grandmother. Arthur, you're taking this shopping way too seriously, said D.W. Just do what I do. Get everyone the same thing. That afternoon, Everyone was getting ready to go caroling, but Arthur didn't have time for Christmas carols. Time was running out. Please come along, begged D.W. I'll be the only kid, and besides, Mrs. Tibble always gives us a present and hot chocolate. Arthur went window shopping instead, hoping that would give him an idea for Santa's present. Santa was ho-ho-hoing and drinking a diet root beer at the car wash. And then moments later, Santa was at the golden chopstick eating sub gum chow goo. Santa must have run to the deli at the corner of North and Main. The waitress shouted Santa's order to the cook. Catch a fish, hit it with rye, and put a pair of shoes on it. Santa sure eats a lot, thought Arthur. Finally, Arthur went home. He hadn't seen a single thing in any of the store windows he thought Santa would like. Santa was on TV eating Papa Piper's pickled peppers. <gasps> That's it, said Arthur. He started making his list. Arthur counted his money. D.W., he said in his sweetest voice. Okay, how much do you need, asked D.W., but only if you promise to stop being such a grouch. 
The next morning, Arthur gave D.W. half of his list, and he took the other half. D.W. had to keep the dog out of the kitchen while Arthur made Santa's present. What's all that noise, asked Father. Arthur is making a mess, reported E.W. The kitchen door opened and Arthur sneezed. Mom, how many cups of pepper are in pickled peppers, he asked. Maybe I should go help, said Mother. No, please, said Arthur. I want to make Santa's present all by myself. Just tell me how many sticks of gum in sub gum chow goo. Poor Santa, said D.W. Hours later, Arthur whistled while he set the table for Santa. What's that? asked Father. Pickled peppers, a hot fudge sundae on bubblegum ice cream, and sub gum chow goo. Uh, I sort of combined Santa's favorite foods, Arthur explained. What's that big lumpy thing that's moving? asked Grandma. A pizza to go, said Arthur, with everything on it. If you want Santa to come, you'd better go to bed, said Mother. If you want Santa to come, thought D.W., you'd better do something about that food. D.W. couldn't fall asleep. I have to do something, she thought. Poor Arthur works so hard, but if Santa gets one whiff of Arthur's present, he'll never set foot in the dining room, much less eat any of it. Careful to miss that squeaky step, D.W., as she tipped toe downstairs in the dark. The next morning, Arthur was the first one up. Santa ate it all, he cried, and he left a note. Dear Arthur, you were so nice to take the time to find out my favorite foods and make them. Thank you. You also teach me about the Christmas spirit. Love, Santa. P.S. Aren't you lucky to have such a nice little sister? The end. I would like Santa, I would like to have a, a desk, a stick pad, the, fro the frozen fire spirit. The frozen fire spirit. What's your name? My name's Harper, and I'm six, and I'm in kindergarten, and I would also like a cash register. Merry Christmas, Santa. Hey, Santa, this is Winter Garden, I'm seven years old. Hey, I want to I found a dog, a Barbie, a hundred crayons, and four LOLs. That's the, bye, Santa. Dear Trenton, thank you for writing to me. I'd be happy to share with the elves your wishes this Christmas. I see you're a young Harry Potter fan looking for books, a wand, and robes to dress like your favorite characters. The Harry Potter story is a wonderful one, full of love and appreciation for others. I hope you enjoy the books as I have. They teach you a little bit about courage and care for others. You've also asked for a few practical things like a flashlight, batteries, crocs, and a sleeping bag. I'll be certain to send this to the elves as they are hard at work in the workshop, creating wonderful things for girls and boys. You've also asked for your tablet to be fixed. I bet we can find a way for this to be arranged. Maybe you can leave your tablet for me to pick up, buy some cookies and milk on Christmas Eve, and I can get it back to the North Pole for repairs. Thank you for your letter, Trenton. Keep being a good kid for your family and caretakers. And I'm sure you will be on the nice list this Christmas. Love, Santa Claus. Dear Lily, thank you for your letter. You've asked for just two things this Christmas, but they are certainly fun toys. Globbles are fun toys for fidgeting, tossing, stacking, and more. I bet you'll have a lot of fun with those. I'll be sure to let the elves know. You've also asked for a big trampoline with a net. A trampoline can be such fun and a great way to get out your energy, little one. I'm on my way back to the workshop soon, and I'll share your wishes with the elves. 
Do me a favor though, keep being a good kid for your family and caretakers and share any toys you already have and those you may receive this Christmas. I want to see your name on the nice list this Christmas and sharing and using manners as you have are great ways to show that. Take care, Lily. With love, Santa Claus. Dear Tyriani, thank you for your letter and the drawing. For a six-year-old, you have done such a nice job writing to me and drawing such a lovely picture. A horse is such a big gift with a lot of responsibility. I will send your request to the elves, and I'm sure they will come up with the perfect gift for you. We have our thinking caps on. I understand that you're a student at Boundary Street School. I hope you're being a good girl for your teachers and being patient and kind with your classmates. Don't forget to share your love and kindness with your family too, as they care for you so, so much. Please do me a favor, little one. Will you draw a picture for your household of some of your favorite things? I bet you can write a nice letter for your teachers too, telling them how much you love them. Do these things and I know you'll be on my nice list this Christmas. Love, Santa Claus. <laughs>